Hi there, everybody. I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros. What we're looking at is a Chicago forecast that shows nothing but sunshine all the way through Sunday, plus temperatures warmer than average up into the 50s. If you're heading on off towards New York, we've got 52 and sunny today. Tomorrow, partly cloudy and 48. Sunday, 49 degrees and partly cloudy. And then zipping on down uh, towards Atlanta. Fog this morning, but then into tomorrow, 65 degrees. Sunday, 66 degrees and partly cloudy. Miami coming in in the 80s and with mostly sunny skies. That's a pretty good Miami forecast, that's for sure. Dallas coming in at 71 today, tomorrow 78 degrees, and on Sunday 73 degrees. Up we go towards Denver, the Mile High City. It's going to be uh, sunny and 59 today, partly cloudy and 63 tomorrow, and 65 degrees on Sunday. Moving down now to Phoenix, where temperatures will be in the 80s with a mix of clouds and sun across the board. I see Los Angeles at a sunny 66 today, tomorrow 65 degrees, and on Sunday 64 degrees. Los Angeles to Seattle. Seattle's quite a bit cooler and also rainy. Each day, there's a chance of rain until Sunday. Should be partly cloudy on Sunday, but temperatures across the board in the 40s. Minneapolis at 49 degrees and cloudy today. Tomorrow, 47, and on Sunday, 51 degrees and cloudy there as well. Seven-day planner takes us out with highs that should be in the 50s through Monday. Rain Monday, Tuesday, much colder Wednesday. All right, thanks so much. Here are your headlines from CBS Chicago. I'm Mike Puccinelli. And I'm Erin Kennedy. In the middle of World War II, 75 years ago, scientists at the University of Chicago achieved the first nuclear chain reaction. Now, the moment continues to both advance and threaten human life to this day. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli takes a look at how the university is commemorating that magnificent milestone. The discovery would change the world forever. But how do you represent it in sculpture? Uh, most ideas aren't simple. And that we should, you know, we all need to struggle to come to terms with what they mean. It's very rare that something is, you know, entirely positive or entirely negative. Or express it in music. The entire subject of the nuclear age is very, very complicated. 75 years ago Saturday, physicist Enrico Fermi and his team at the University of Chicago set the first self-sustaining nuclear reaction into motion, the first step toward nuclear medicine, power, and war. And the site is this site that is so pregnant with meaning. Constructed of 45,000 graphite blocks, the first official nuclear reactor was built under the stands of what was Stag Field. Professor Gusty Reed Thomas composed a piece for single voice and strings. It's like an onion. You peel one layer back and there's 27 other layers. There are positive things, there are exceptionally good things, there are absolutely horrible things. What we wanted to show was complexity. Architect Zoe Prillinger tied together 241 rubber cords and then let them twist apart. Control, which is this area of the bench, and a loss of control. They'll help mark a milestone many still struggle to comprehend. Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. The reactor was called Chicago Pile, or CP1. Its location on campus here will serve as the backdrop for a pyrotechnic display on Saturday night. Starting tomorrow, there will be all sorts of scholarly discussions and panels at the university to commemorate that anniversary. In your sports, the Bears are four and a half point favorites as they host the San Francisco 49ers at Soldier Field on Sunday. Kickoff is at noon right here on CBS2. In other sports notes, the Bulls lost to the Nuggets last night 111 to 110, and the Hawks lost to the Dallas Stars 4 to 3. For the very latest headlines any time of the day or night, head to cbschicago.com.